always thought about what can we do for the state of California or for the country, for the United States. We come here to figure out how to solve some of the world's toughest issues. The mission of the Institute is to advance postpartisanship, where leaders put people over political parties and political ideology. We have a whole history of nonpartisan local elections in California. Dick Reardon or Jim Hahn or, or the current mayor, Eric Garcetti, they've all had support from across party lines and generations and ethnicities. On those nonpartisan races, you don't put the party affiliation on the ballot. And with Loretta and, and Kamala, it said they were both Democrats on the ballot. There is a level of partisanship on the, on, in this top two that doesn't exist in our nonpartisan races. We had not had an open seat for the United States Senate since 1992. Neither one of the candidates had ever run at the top of the ticket statewide. These voters were just getting acquainted with these two people. They didn't know much about them. Neither one of them had the kind of resources that we've seen in statewide races. And there was far less media coverage of the campaign. We were watching the car wreck that was going on in the rest of the country. The top two system allowed Kamala Harris to put together a coalition like we haven't seen before. We have 26 counties in California where Republicans outnumber Democrats. Uh, Kamala won 25 of those 26 counties. We raised 17 million. It was incredibly difficult in a D on D context. And the national organizations, they just look at these two Democrats running against each other. They color in the state blue. The donors lose interest. So we had an awful uh, challenge. To come up with our, uh, our ultimate media campaign, which was endorsement heavy, we constructed 20 or so 70 word ad length messages. Online, you can get folks to heat map or wand over the words they like and highlight the negative words they don't like. What was the number one word people wanted in the context of our race? For Kamala Harris, it was big. Big banks, big oil, big predatory lenders. I think it summed up uh, the California flavor of the national race. Very much a race of big versus little. There was a match uh, between the Bernie vote and the Trump vote on this big versus little question. All through the spring, our hope was to face a Republican. We found in our polling, we couldn't get a Republican uh, to break 8%. They didn't have uh, any kind of paid media budget, so nobody was on the air on the Republican side. No leadership on the Republican side coalesced around any single candidate. We saw a very, very different pie uh, by virtue of the um, the fact we had a competitive Democratic primary for president, and then I think we really did have a Trump turnout effect in California. Boxer announced on a Thursday she wasn't running. By the following Monday afternoon, Kamala Harris was in the center of the ring. She wanted to arrive in Washington uh, as a United States senator who has the support of the Latino community, and, and particularly in the context we're facing now with, uh, uh, with the enforcement actions that are gonna come. I do think that this process of endorsing somebody in this kind of top two open primary system does give the party more influence over the process. Endorsements were very, very important to uh, the success of the Harris campaign. We ran very, very hard and aggressively to get that endorsement. I think Harris benefited a lot from the fact that she had been a statewide elected official and had come into those CDP conventions. It was a huge benefit once we got it. it allowed us to open a, um, a joint fundraising committee with the California Democratic Party. Open or not, uh, it is a democratic process. You got to win a democratic election to get that uh, to get that party endorsement, and it's truly a grassroots uh, deal. The question is not what are the needs of the Republicans or the Democrats. The real question is what are the needs of our people. If you just stick to one party's proposals, you miss half of the good ideas.